from WNEP TV, the news station. This is News Watch 16 at 11. Almost three years after a fatal car crash in Wayne County, the family of a woman who was killed wants to know why no one was ever charged. Now the family's attorney is calling for the reinvestigation of that deadly crash. This is why 16's Trish Hartman has that story tonight. Just days after lawyer Mark Tanner settled a civil case on behalf of Diane Glenn's three children, he wrote a letter to state police and the Wayne County District Attorney's Office. We would now like some answers. We'd like to know why this case was never prosecuted. This was the aftermath of the crash that killed Diane Glenn as she was driving down Route 590 in Salem Township. Police identified the driver of the truck that hit her as Dean O'Halloran of Dunmore, a man who Tanner says got off easy. It always seemed odd to us that you have a fatal accident that occurs at 9 o'clock in the morning where two witnesses, independent witnesses, say this vehicle was weaving and driving erratically before the accident occurred. And there's no breath testing, no blood testing, no drug testing. O'Halloran was never arrested or charged after the accident, but hospital records provided by the family's lawyer show that about two hours after the accident, O'Halloran had a blood alcohol content of .149, almost twice the legal limit. Tanner says there's a reason why O'Halloran was never charged. We learned his father was a corporal in the state police. We thought, you know, now it really seems odd. The lawyer says he got this response from the state police this week. This whole matter has been referred for an investigation both in terms of a criminal prosecution of Mr. O'Halloran and in terms of an internal affairs investigation within the state police. And that was Trish Hartman reporting tonight. Meantime, the Wayne County District Attorney telling Newswatch 16 that he received the documents related to this case this week. He admits that he knew about the deadly crash right after it happened in 2005, but the new information could mean a renewed investigation. There's no indication in anything I've seen that there was any impropriety uh, involved, any you know favors that were cut. EMTs and the DA confirms there is no record that O'Halloran was ever issued a citation for the deadly crash.